I broke the cooling fan duct on one of my Ender 2 Pros and I couldn't find a replacement, so I decided to make my own and I made several. And then I added an LED to light up the area below the nozzle. Did it work? Stay tuned and find out right here at Fill in a Friday. Fill in a Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. This video is also sponsored by PCBWay.com. I found a piece of plastic sitting on the bed of one of my Ender 2 Pros and it turned out it was the tab that was broken from the vent from the cooling fan. So let me show you how to remove it and then how to print a new one. The first thing is to remove the screw at the back of the hot end. And then you use the Allen wrench to just pop off the snap on the one side and then the snaps on the other side. And then this cover should lift right off and you can set it to the side. Here's the broken fan duct. It's broken on one side while the mount is broken. Once I took the screw out, I could see half of the mount still stuck to the screw. Remove the other screw and then I could take this whole assembly out. I searched for a replacement STL of the original, but I couldn't find an STL anywhere. Now I have printed this one here before, the CR10 fan mod from Gabriel 3D Caster on Thingiverse, and it fits the fan, but I didn't know if it would work, so I figured I'd give it a shot. I printed it out using my 0.28 extra fast profile just to get a feel for it and clearly 0.28 is too rough because the ramp of the vent is terrible. So I'm going to use a 0.2 layer height going forward. I also didn't realize how angled the Ender 2 Pro was so this flat one is going to need some modification but I'm just going to make it taller and see if that works. I brought it into Tinkercad, split it, added a new section inside, grouped it together and now I had a taller version that should line up with the nozzle. I brought it into Cura and I used my 0.2 good profile and it says 38 minutes to print and this is the way it should print. Looks pretty good and it turned out just fine. It fit nicely on the fan. It's a similar style to the CR10 or Ender 3. I mounted the two screws to hold it in place and when I looked at it relative to the nozzle I think I got the height just right. What I didn't take into account is the shroud design. It's different on an Ender 2 Pro and it was hitting right here on the corner. So I decided to just take that corner away and Tinkercad and here's the new design. So I put that in place and it was better, but I still couldn't put the shroud on. I also noticed this one was leaning up a little bit. I want it leaning down. So I went back to Tinkercad, I angled the back of it and then I added this little lip to make it lean downward a little bit. I grouped all that together and hopefully this is the final design. When I mounted it, that little extra piece definitely loved this out and angled it down just a touch. And this thing actually blows the air downward direction, so it's perfect. And best of all, the shroud pops right over it. But then, of course, I had to go too far. I looked at the side of this thing and I said, I wonder if I can put an LED in there. So I went back to Tinkercad and cut some holes for an LED and decided to try and mount one to see if it would light this thing up underneath the nozzle, just like this. So I wired up the LED with a resistor, a 1K resistor. I'm going to run it off at 24 volts of the fan. I put some heat shrink tubing on it and used my soldering iron. That's why it's so dirty. And then taped it in place and then connected to the main cooling fan. So when the power is on, the light is on. And it worked. It lit up. But is it going to help? Well, it definitely lights up the area, but not a ton. You can see I should use a brighter LED or position this better. It's always fun to me to add some electronics to my 3D designs. And speaking of electronics, if you're into electronics, PCBWay.com is a great place to get circuit boards. You can get 10 boards for only $5 plus shipping. It's really a great service. But if you're only into 3D printing or CNC, they have that as well. They have CNC machining, 3D printing of various materials, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. Now, if you're like me and you're into 3D printing and electronics, you can get boards from them just by uploading your Gerber file, tell them all the features you want, get those boards made really cheap and shipped to you, and then have your 3D printing done by them if you want some really special work done. So check out PCBWay.com. The new fan duct or vent, whatever you want to call it, works pretty good and it angles the air down, similar to the way this thing, the original one, angled the air down. I think it works really well. I did print all these in PLA, but long term I'm going to switch to PTG or maybe even ABS, because it's near that nozzle. And if you're interested in this, I'm going to share the file on Thangs, just in case someone wants to print it for their own machine as a backup. Now, if you know where the original STL file of this thing is, let me know, because I couldn't find it. Let me know in the comments below. 
If you like this video, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or just buy through the affiliate links in the description below. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.